John, do you have the uh, Board of Appeals list? Holly? Okay, Holly, can you get John the Board of Appeals list? Pam Reed, are you ready? She's not ready. Carl's not ready. I'm ready. Jason Poyer is always ready. Get up here, Jason. Big round of applause. All right, good evening, and uh, thank you all the volunteers. As uh, Mayor Pat mentioned, without, without you guys, we would not have Mount Airy as it is today, looking as great as it does, as functioning as well as it does. And thank you again to the town staffers. You guys have done an incredible job uh, over the last six, seven months that we've been dealing with COVID. Um, I'm going to choose uh, to uh, rock on with uh, my first uh, my first commission. Um, we have uh, Chair Mike. Oh, this is uh, sustainability, by the way. Um, Chair Mike Dixon, Tom Nuff, Ken Humble, Mary Beth Worthington, Russell Reynolds, Don, uh, Don Neary, and Kelly Nuff. I don't know if, uh, if you're here, come on up. Oh, not come on up. I forgot. Never mind. Don't come up. I'm just talking. Let's give him a big round of applause. Then. Sorry, that felt weird. Tell him not to come up. I'm sorry. Uh, grab a beer and grab an ornament if you're here. All right. Uh, next is uh, recycling and sanitation. Uh, Chair Tom Neff, Peggy Fleming, Pete Ballas, Mike Dixon, Ken Humble, and uh, Kathy Balderson. So thank you guys very much. If you're here, big round of applause. You get warmer when you clap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, what council uh, person is next? Uh, Pamela Reed, are you ready? Carl, get ready. Pam Reed. Councilwoman Pam Reed. Yeah. Thank her for the beer. Thank you for the beer. Don't thank me, the town is buying it. <laughs> thank you, town. So to add on to what Jason said. Um, Can you talk closer, pull your mask down? To add on to what Jason said, um, my personal opinion, COVID or not, we are a community that comes together um, and stays together. And I think we've done a great job this year working through COVID and keeping our town running. Um, so I'll start first with planning. Uh, Lindy Camarada, Bill Butts, Leslie Dickinson, Scott Sergio, Roxanne Hemphill. Raise your hand. <laughs> Judy Ollinger, Martina Hatley. So the commission had a tough job this last, the last couple of months, but I thought they did it very delicately. Um, so kudos to you guys for doing a great job. Moving on to economic development. Dan McNeil, Jimmy Linton, Donna Marie Needle, Ray Miller, Mike Van Sant, Josiah Timmerman, Darlene Davidson Union, who is the newest member of our commission, um, again, these guys had a, a tough job this past year, keeping um, our, our businesses safe and doing everything that we could to help them get through COVID. Um, they successfully passed a, or had a grant program and a loan program passed this year, um, which is huge. So thank you to everyone. Who's next? Carl Munder, Councilman Carl Munder. Rockenberg. Hello, everyone. I'm Councilman Carl Munder. I am responsible as a liaison for beautification and recreational parks. So let me start off with beautification. I want to recognize Chairwoman Tina Swanson, Beverly Blanchard, Dick Hager, Dwight Molinex, and our newest member, Doris Wiltshire. They are the ones that have kept the parks and the gardens looking wonderful throughout the COVID and season to season. So if you ever visit some of the parks and look at the beautiful flowers and the arrangements, they are the ones. And then the Recreation and Parks Commission. 
I would like to recognize Chairman Mike Regal, Ryan McCauley, Heather Hobbs Michael, raise your hand, George Guervo, Andrew Heck, Scott Ryland, and Mark Mignoni. I guess some of the wor some of the hardest names to to pronounce here. So, thanks. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you all for volunteering, and thank you again, and have your beer and ornament. Next. Council President, Council President Larry Hushar. Who I believe is getting his hot dog, actually. La, 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 la. Oh, good, you're here, I won't have to sing. If I knew you were going to sing, I'd have waited. <laughs> So I'm the liaison to the Water and Sewer Commission. I'm the luckiest guy around here of the year. Of the year. So, uh, let's see, on the Water and Sewer Commission, we have Dick Swanson, John Cherry, Ronnie Runkles, Mark Moxley, and Dave DeFonzo. And uh, they do a great job uh, overseeing the water and sewer, keeping track of uh, all the inflow issues and infiltration issues in the sewer system. Uh, not the cleanest job in the world, but they, they do a great job. So uh, appreciate all their support on that. Now I have a yeah yep. <laughs> have a write up for Patty. If you want me to go into yes, yes okay. So Patty is a liaison to the Streets and Roads Commission, and they have to, it's one of the toughest jobs I think. Yeah, yeah, and they uh, <laughs> she wrote a, a really nice report. So uh, she says, and this is her record, uh, tonight is one of my favorite nights of the year because we get to acknowledge the people who make our town special, all the volunteers who we would be lost without your many hours of service. I think I'm gonna steal some of this and, and apply it to my commission as well. <laughs> I greatly apologize for not being able to say these words in person, but I wanted everyone to know how fortunate I am to have such a dedicated and hardworking volunteers who give freely of their time for the Streets and Roads Commission. This past year has been extremely challenging as we lost our chairperson of seven years and also had many big issues to resolve. Without missing a beat, Lynn Galetti moved into uh, from the secretary position to chairperson and a new member of the commission, Mary Beth Obrinsky. <laughs> I hear, hear it for, for Mary Beth. So, uh, took the reins of secretary. Both have been doing an outstanding job and are so appreciated. Thank you to Lynn, Mary Beth, as well as Mary Hushauer, Lucy Regal, and Bart David, and our newest member, Jonathan Samoya, to make sure that we are driving in the right direction. They ensure that safety is first and foremost a priority for the many streets and roads in our town. Looking forward to continue our work together with all of you wonderful folks in the upcoming year. Happy holidays to everyone, and may this year be one of the happiest in good health. Boy, she did a nice report, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> And that's, that's okay. Holly's gonna, yes, uh, uh, Patty, Patty, Patty Wash about this. Remember, get your hot dogs. <laughs> so, I am going to read out the names of the Board of Supervisors of Elections for those of you that don't know. We actually do have an election coming in 2021. Our chairman is Bruce Walls, then there's Mark Moxley, Dick Swanson, and Anne Marie Duckett. Yeah! Thank you for all of your hard work. These elections are long, long days. Here's John Breeding. Thank you, sir. Thanks for uh, everybody coming out, and um, thanks for volunteering for the town of Bad Area. I've grown to really love this town. Uh, sorry, I say I've really grown to love the town here and I uh, really appreciate all your uh, volunteer hours you guys put in. So I'm for the Board of Appeals. We have Oliver Davis, Kenneth Gihel, 
Diane Gleason, Kevin Jackson, Peter Hilt, and Judy Stull alternate. So I appreciate everybody's uh, time and effort that you put in for the town of Mount Airy. And I'm not sure who's next. Oh, uh, we may be getting to remember this is a one hour event. Remember, get your hot dogs, get your beer. Let me see, let me see. Well, looks like I have one here. I got a couple of them. Uh, I'd like to introduce the chairman of the Growth Task Force. Wendy, can you please join us and uh, tell us about your hardworking people? Remember to please raise your hand when you're noted. the survey and I'd like to say thank you to Mike O'Brien, Michael O'Brien, Steve DeMotor, Mark Nomia, Mike Dixon and Matt McDonough. Thank you, and thank you for your such a wonderful, wonderful survey. I think people should keep their eyes open because thanks to the town council, we're going to be running a lot more in the messenger, and I think you're going to see those survey points in the messenger. So I would like to announce to uh, the people here this beautiful bank you're in. Yeah, I'll set up very nice by the staff, and I was very proud to note how they made tonight special. But you know what got us here? It's been a beautification team, and I'd like to notify you all who they were. Well, at the top of the list, but they're all at the top of the list. Mr. Jim Sturgill. Mrs. Tina Swanson. And Mrs. Debbie Herb Stomer. I think I said that right. They've been fantastic. They've been helping water the plants. Uh, Jim, we do weeding, we do painting, and uh, this place has looked fantastic, and it continues to look fantastic. Okay, we did the great task force. What are we doing? I'd like to ask Council President Larry Hushauer to stop chatting with Steve and please come up here because we are going to get to runners up for volunteer of the year. And then guess what we're doing? Volunteer of the year. Well, thank you, Jason. Yes, oh. then we're going to do the volunteer of the year. <laughs> so, this was a tough decision. A lot of these people were so, so very close. When, uh, let me see. We're going to try to tell you a little bit about each of them. Uh, let me see. Now, my first one is going to be Mary Hushauer. She was runner-up for Volunteer of the Year. That means she came really close. So a few things about Mary. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, historical Society. She's been very involved. You see that flower sack that's available? Mary created that. Let me see. Uh, last seven years, well, we don't do lengths of anything, but Mary is, actually, we're going to do a volunteer to decade. She could be one. I don't know. But anyway, she was very good on Rails to Trails, Historical Society. Let me see what else. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm looking for Larry's list. Let me see. Part of the uh, town, st uh, st town station, she received $40,000 from the state of Maryland. When the banner program got rocking, I think we all know about the veterans banner program, Mary was part of that great team uh, and offered her assistance. Let me see what else we got here. Uh, I know that Mary and Larry, but Larry, we're not noting you, we're noting Mary. They put those great uh, demos into the uh, rail. What, what are they, gingerbread people? Gingerbread food. Mary serves on parks. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, I'm sorry, she serves on streets and roads. Blah, 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 blah. Where else? Oh my gosh, how much you make on the bingo? $15,000. And I'm sorry, my list is so messed up and it's so dark. She painted the ducks for the sponsors. Uh, when we have that duck race, she has done so much for the community. She is a very prized one up. Give her a round of applause. And Larry. You're going to help me give away these special gift certificates to our runners-up, so you make sure you pick one for Mary. Our next runner-up is Mr. Mike Dixon. Now, I don't know who the person is here to notify Mike, but uh, Jason, you want to tell us a little bit about Mike? Where are you at? Waiting for his food. He's what? 
this. <laughs> All right, Mike Dixon has been a fantastic volunteer for the town of Mount Airy. He's let us use his equipment. He's been great with the uh, uh, the green task force, very active. He's helped us with the electric car charging stations. Mike has been a definite runner-up for the town of Mount Airy. Let's give him a round of applause. Now, let me see. Uh, Mary, are you here? You had a nomination. Mary Beth Obrimsky, are you here? You want to come and tell us a little bit about Lynn Galetti, the runner-up that you nominated? Of course, I could tell you a lot about Lynn Galetti. You want to come up and tell us? What, me? No, you're the one that made the list. Get up here. See? Let's hear a little bit about Lynn Galetti. Everybody knows Lynn Galetti. She's worked for years, but remember, this type of job, this type of notice is for one year only. She may be a person for a volunteer of the decade. Okay, we, we nominated Lynn because apparently the chairman position was vacated. Lynn stepped in, took over, and she works so well with so much of our town. She's willing to jump in, no matter what's involved, take charge. And I stepped in as secretary. And she just is amazing. And I think she's done so much for our town for so long that I was um, happy to be able to nominate her this year because COVID's made everything different. And she did not care what happened, what was going on. She stepped in and has just been an amazing part of our town. So that, that's one of the reasons why we nominated her. Fantastic. Uh, Lynn Glady, can you come up here and just wave to everybody and grab an envelope? Also, Alice Settle Roskin. Yeah, that's Lynn Gladdy. We can give her a big round of applause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad you're on the love, darling. In a picture? I can't get a picture with the council president, too. <laughs> you are so close. So go ahead and pick out your envelope. By the way, I like to go to uh, memorize a lot. Don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, Alice Settle Raskin was also nominated. Let's give her a round of applause. Is she here tonight? All right, well, I'll be taking her gift certificate. She'll be fine. Moving on. Let me see. All right, well, we've got two other people. I wonder who they are. Because one of them is Volunteer of the Year. Has anybody heard of a, a guy's name, uh, Mark uh, Mac Magnolia? Magnolia. Okay, well, he is uh, the, officially the Susan Lucci of our town. This is the third time that Mark Magnolia has won the two. He was the one who up actually in the first winning thing, in the first voting, he actually hit one, but then he turned, and then he hit, and then he turned. So, if I could ask, where is she, Miss Heather? Heather Hobbs Michael, can you join me? It's Heather Hobbs now. It's Heather Hobbs now. Well, tell, tell me what the certificate you like. <laughs> All right, so tell us a little bit about Mark, because I believe you nominated him. Hi, everybody. How's everyone doing? Good. It's good to see y'all. Yep, it's Heather Hobbs now, so that's fantastic. Um, so I... I nominated Mark. Um, Mike Regal was nice enough to let me go to um, Mark. Come here to represent the Rex and Parks board. And so there's a mil I can't even name. I said I, I felt bad at that meeting because I didn't have a resume for Mark ready because I can't even name all the things that you know. I try to go to as many town events as I can, and Mark is there at everything that he does. But the reason why, since I grew up in Mount Airy, and my dad told me a long time ago, the most important thing for you to do is leave a place better than you found it. And what inspires me about Mark is that in this new, in this generation of people, of kids who don't really realize how important community service is. And as an educator, it's my job to make sure that our next generation understands how important it is to volunteer in your community and be a part of your community. Mark is the stellar example of someone who is of a younger generation who is committed to his town and is dedicated to making a place better than what he founded, which is a rare gem in this town and in any town. And I couldn't be more proud of him or more happy to call him my friend. You inspire me 
every single day. Yeah, this is a uh, proclamation for Mark Mignona, and it is uh, from the mayor, town council, and the town staff. He's been a commission member since October of 2017, and this is in recognition of your dedication, diligence, and selfless hey, service. <laughs> All right, we'll try it one more time. In recognition of your dedication, diligence, and selfless service, as a Mount Airy Commission member, the contributions you have made to the town have made a positive impact for our residents and well worthy of public acknowledgement. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, Heather. Mark, you were so, so close again. And if anybody wants to call you Susan Lucy, we have to let that happen. Larry, what do we got going on now? We huh, we're trying to recycle, so let everybody know to recycle their cans. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, John. We'll stop the event. Did you guys Somebody else was suggesting that, John. Is there an HR person here this year? Nope, she left. Uh, you're lucky. Uh, Tina Swanson, can you step up before me and Larry do volunteer the year? Tell everybody about the ornament that's made for everybody. Six years ago, I asked the mayor why the town did not have an ornament. And the mayor said, oh, I don't know. Well, the next year in the beautification budget, we had money for an ornament. So we made a town ornament, and I thought we would have one town ornament. But here we are five years later, and we're still doing town ornaments. And every year, I think they're fabulous. This year, we have the Mount Airy Caboose, and I think you'll all love getting that ornament. Oh my gosh. Well, Larry, I think Larry's pretty happy about that. <laughs> so uh, stay, stay, stay up here a second because uh, you may know a little bit about the person that me and Larry are going to present Volunteer of the Year. Can you tell us a little about who that person may be? <laughs> okay, I would like to, I know I work with this person. This person has been on a town commission for a long, quite a while. This person serves as the secretary, but our meetings are not an important, really important part of what we do because we spend all of our time in the parks. This person spends 12 months of the year working in the parks. This person put up these decorations in town in Wildwood Park and, and Best Pocket Park. This person is out there in January and in February pruning the trees and shrubs. Then she's out there weeding and digging and, and planting plants and mulching in, in March. In May, she's busy planting annual plants, and in June, July, and August, in the heat and humidity. Wait, wait a second, Dick Swanson is now tearing up and is just like <laughs> Go ahead, it's a female. <laughs> and in, when it's hot and humid, all summer long, she's out there weeding and watering plants, and this person was one of the original people who helped clean out rails to trails with Doc O'Brien and Larry. And um, she has continued her commitment to this. And this year she cleared out a 21 by 28 foot area of the Rails to Trails garden all on her own with her shovel, her loppers and her cutters. She got poison ivy and insect bites and she cleared it all out and she continues to work hard. Wow, I wonder who that could be. Before we go there, you can wait here, Tina. Uh, I'm going to ask Council President Larry because I'm not qualified. I was never one of these Volunteer of the Year. Larry, will you start off and tell us who Volunteer of the Year is, and then you can announce the next one. And Tina, and actually, you announce these, and Tina's going to announce Volunteer of the Year. Okay. All right, I can do that. In uh, 2013, we had Dick Swanson. Yeah, Dick! Who we know as number one, <laughs> which is far better than the second year, which was myself. And I'm number two. Larry Hushauer, <laughs> Council President. Uh, 2015 was Bill Butts. I think he's out there. Bill. Hey, Bill. Uh, 2016 was uh, Doc O'Brien. Number four. Yeah. Uh, and then the following year, 2017, is right up here, Tina Swanson. Number five. 
2018 was Wayne Evans. He's probably out there volunteering Number somewhere. Six. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And then last year was Pam Reed, who is now Councilwoman Pam Reed. That's number six. So there must be one more, and I'll pass this back to Tina. Who is number seven? And this year I'm thrilled to announce that Beverly Blatchford of the Beautification Commission is our volunteer of the year. Congratulations. Beverly, your name is going to be put on this plaque that hangs in town hall. This is a, such a critical step, such an honored step to have in the town of Mount Airy. Regardless what your husband says, you are, you are number seven. Everybody, big round of applause. Larry, I think you got something to give her. And actually, tell her, this is the first year we have increased the size of the ornament, so you have the biggest ornament out there. Larry? Yeah, yeah, uh, if you could just hold the mic for me. This is a wonderful glass trophy that I don't want to break, so as quick as I can, I'm going to hand it to Beverly so she can hold it. And it's engraved, and it's got a picture of a train up on top of it, and uh, it's Tina, a beautiful, beautiful trophy. Yeah. And, and well deserved. Three more, number seven, Beverly Blatchford, who you've seen some of her photographs on uh, the, uh, the website that I post up there. Everybody, you are incredible. While we have a few that we've highlighted, we are a fantastic town. Again, the lowest tax rate. A desired town for everybody in the state and country because of you, our volunteers. We so appreciate you. We said this would be an hour-long event. You're welcome to stay. We have the first town brew ever made that you're welcome to have. Have a hot dog. Stay by the flame. Thank you so much for coming tonight. When you leave tonight, make sure you grab yourself an ornament. Thank you very much. God bless you.